Hey guys, today's video with me showing you guys how to increase the quality of your guys' laser engraving by editing the photos so they're easy to laser engrave. So I'm going to show you guys how to change a photo that looks like this with no detail. It's missing half its head and you can really see what its body looks like. And changing it into something that looks like this. There's a lot of detail into its face. You can see where its head ends and you can see... Uh, Quite a bit of detail about the <clears throat> the body of the dog. Hey guys, I would like to um, give you guys a little disclaimer before uh, continuing the video. Uh, Be Funky is a paid uh, website for some of the features. Um, they offer a lot of good stuff though, so uh, I think it's worth it. Um, some people do screenshot their images i do not suggest you guys doing that because it's kind of messed up but um yeah i just want to give you guys a disclaimer before i start the next step or the first step so guys to the first step um you're gonna want to head down to the description of my video and you're going to want to click on the be funky link once you get uh once you click on the link it'll send you to a website that looks just like this uh you're gonna want to click open uh, new image from computer, and then click the image you want to start with, or that you've chosen to start with. Uh, mine's this one here. Oh, not this one. Mine's this one here. Yep. So this is just a random photo I picked off the internet. Yeah, that's, yep, completely random. Um, so the problem with this photo to begin with is the color of its fur and the background of the image is too similar, so your laser can't really determine the difference, so it, it won't be able to grab any detail. There's no, there's pretty much no lines to go off of. Like your, your laser can see a few things, it can see like maybe the eyes, but maybe it's these patterns in the fur, but it, it really can't determine, it, is, it just has nothing to go off of. That's pretty much what's going on here. So head over to this one right here, this tab, just uh, the paint or the paintbrush. Head down to uh, pen art. By the way, pen art is not the only one you could use for this. For some images, pen art might look really good, right? And then let's see. See, pen art looks pretty good for this image, but for other images, let's say it's not of a dog, it could be of. I'm not sure what you guys are lasering, right? So. Um, you could try out all these filters and all these um, AI generated uh, editing, image editing things. I'm not really sure what they would be called, but uh, I've also used uh, Crosshatch before. It looks really good. Not on this image here, but it, it can it can look good on certain images. Uh, I just suggest going through all these and clicking and finding whatever one gives your image the most uh, lines that give the right details for the image. Uh, for this image I found that yeah pen art, pen art 1 works the best. So once you find the the right photo editing filter or whatever you want to call it that looks best for your image, uh, head up to the top, click save. Make sure to name the image something that you remember like uh, I would name this one Pen Art One Dog with Background, just so it's easier to find for the next step. So the next step would be for you guys to head into the description and click on uh, Pix Art, uh, the link. So once you've uh, clicked that link there, just go down here to uh, select a file, and then in here find the image that. Um, that you've chosen. This is the picture of the dog from before. It was easy to find because we named it something that we remember. And then from there, so once you've uh, done that and downloaded it, head back to the software that you used to laser engrave. I use Laser Gerbil, but Obviously, you could use whatever uh, software you would like. 
uh, once you uh, put this image back into that software, you can see that from the beginning image to the image we have now. Let's just wait for it to load quick. It has a lot more detail in its face for the laser to go off of, a lot more lines, a lot more just simple dots. It has the uh, top of its skull is really showing so we can actually see where the where its head is and we don't have some background making it so then they're too similar so we can't see that. You can really see the dog's eyes, its paws, you can see more of its chest, its whiskers. Um, there's still like a, a few dots and stuff, but that's nothing serious. Um, but if you could see the, if this helped you guys in any way, if you guys seen it um, really change your guys' photo, and this really helped a ton, uh, I'd really like a like and subscribe. And if you guys have any tips for me, you could leave them in the comments. I read them all. I'll probably get back to you guys. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.